Before. What's going on guys? So this video will be about different plugins that I use for distortion. Some of the best that I think, of course. So if there is one that I missed, of course, leave a comment below and I will get to that. And if you want a part two, you know what to do. You need to hit that like button and I will do that, of course. I'll demonstrate this, of course, on an 808 to stay in context with this channel. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I'm about to play the example track. Please use studio monitors and headphones to hear these examples throughout this video and I really do appreciate it. Here we go. So let's talk about the first plugin right here, which is regressive. I don't have it on right now, but I'm gonna play the 808 right now without any effect. Now let's crank up regressive here and hear how it sounds like. Yeah, and the most amazing part about this one is that it's free. Of course, the links will be in the description box so that you can check out each and every one of them for yourself as well as a video. But yeah, Regressive is a lo-fi distortion plugin and it's really good. It's very unique to any of the other ones I'm about to talk about. And it does have a pretty decent selection of presets around it. And I think I, I just played that one. All right, so this next one is Subvert, and it's a pretty good one too as well. Uh, it was like five bucks. So it's really, really rude. Like if I was to play this 808 right now, this is how it would sound coming through Subvert. And I haven't even went through any of the presets. So as you can see, you could get many different filters, ring modulation, metalizer, and distortion in this right here. And it's a really, really a complicated plugin to understand. I, I'm not going to even lie to you, even after being explained by the guys at Glitch Machine, but I'll show you some presets and I'll have to be mindful of the volume levels. Uh, one of the many things that I like about Subvert in itself is that it does do a little bit of FM modulation and there's going to be another plugin that does that very well but it's a little easier to understand but this is pretty good it, it does different phase distortions and a lot of ring modulation so it has a lot of metallicness to it as well as frequency modulation Uh, this next one right here is Neutron Elements 2. And what this one can do is not much distortion in the sense that you would think, but you can have a harmonic exciter that you can use. And what you would do is you would just turn up the drive. I'm going to bypass it first so you can hear it. Now I'm going to play it with the distortion. So it's a really cool plugin because Neutron Elements right now is free until like November 30th. So link will be in the description box, of course. So after getting finished talking about an isotope plugin, we have another one in front of us, which is Trash 2. Trash. And don't let the name fool you because it is far from being trash. Matter of fact, I'm gonna demonstrate some of the presets. Holy, holy, holy 
Yeah, this is one for the books right here. Really good. Holy crap, what took me so long to discover this one. All right, so this next one I've talked about on this channel before, and this is the Chef 73 by Waves Audio. And this is a channel strip, but this focuses on the Neve 1073 distortion circuit, so it's really good for distortion. Example. I'm not gonna really go into more detail about it because I have a full video on it. This distortion plugin right here is a multi-band distortion made by Kleckman. You know what I'm talking about. I can't pronounce their name. But anyways, so this plugin right here is really strong. I really like it. It's called Squash It, and it is really, really good. And the reason why I like that because it has instances of phase distortion. I didn't know about this company until this year and I think that they're making very good progress with their plugins like they have been dropping nothing but really useful stuff so hopefully you guys will check them out I love how my 808 sound with this one all right so this is another waste plugin right here and this is the Manny distortion plugin I didn't even know I had this but yeah let's try it out So the main focus is this drive right here where you can dial in your distortion and then you also have your harmonic tones down here as well. So it's really good. It's, it's really good that they have a simple plugin like this because most people don't want to just dial it into different knobs and go this deep. But yeah, the simplicity of this plugin is really strong and I think it's a really dope plugin to check out. Last but not least is this plugin right here, which is our bass. And it's so much not so much of distortion as it is about controlling and containing the subharmonics. It can do some distortion of its own. What I really like to do with our bass is just put it at the end before like any of my other distortion plugins that I use. Of course, I'm only gonna use like one, but this right here will complement it because you can sweep the frequency. So let's go ahead and do that. Hopefully they will update the GUI on this. That's the only complaint I have about it because it's so small compared to a lot of stuff and then it's not vectoral. But other than that, it gets the job done. That's all I care about. I also use our bass on my kicks as well. It was something that was pointed out to me that is really good for kicks. If I play this, the kick in this track right now, you'll see how wimpy it sounds like without our bass. Now I'm going to play it with our bass. So it's a huge difference or if not, if not a huge difference, very subtle. So yeah, let me know if this video was helpful to you. Of course, again, I want to remind you, leave a comment below on some distortion plugins that you like that I may have not a touch in this video so that I can do that in part two. And of course, if you want that part two, hit that like button and I will do something for you guys. Also, everything that I use in this track, it will be in the description box. I hope this video was helpful to you.